Hello there. We've just made the world's first retractable plasma-based lightsaber. Oh my God, that looks incredible. I think you've outdone yourself on this one, buddy. Look at the detail in that. If that's not steampunk, I don't know what is. But the real question is, how are we gonna power this? In this case, LPG, compressed liquid propane gas. We're talking about normal propane that you use in your barbecue. This nozzle right here costs over $4,000 and it's used in the glass blowing industry. To achieve maximum temperature, we need complete combustion which means in addition to this propane, we're actually gonna be using oxygen as well. That doesn't sound dangerous, right? Anyways, let's see how it works. First, turn on the propane. Then we turn on the oxygen, some safety glasses, and the sparker. Is that not a lightsaber? This beam is really cool. It's actually burning at around 4,000 Fahrenheit, which means it's capable of cutting through a lot of stuff. Should we cut through some stuff? So this is actually our old lightsaber blade made of titanium. And look at that, it's already white hot. That is so bright, Jesus. The really cool thing about doing a flame like this is we can actually color it using salts. Let's start with some boric acid. What color do you think it's going to turn the blade? Got your guesses? Ooh, look at that. Next up, we have calcium chloride. Ooh, look at that red orange. That almost hurts to look at. We have some strontium chloride. That is like a road flare. This actually hurts to look at. Look at that. Finally, we have some sodium chloride, also known as salt. Woo, and look at that. We've got Ray's lightsaber right here. Is that not cool? So we're able to produce a blue lightsaber, a green lightsaber, a red lightsaber, an amber lightsaber, and even a yellow lightsaber. How awesome is that? I should probably turn this off though. That took a lot of fine tuning to get the blade to the right length. And turning it off wasn't the most elegant. Luckily, Bogdan's gonna be actually making a circuit with two fancy valves, which means we'll actually be able to get a computer to control the flow of gas to allow for this to ignite and retract with the press of a button. We did it, the world's first retractable plasma-based lightsaber. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe.